Another special presentation, Fleetwood Mac has reunited for an MTV concert called The Dance with the same band lineup that produced its mega platinum 1977 album Rumors. It's intimate songwriting fueled by a series of troubled romances within the band and pristine playing made Rumors one of the most popular records of all time. But it took a lot of delicate steps to get these five people to make music together once more. How much of some of these problems stem from, from your cocaine use back then? Uh, well, it wasn't just my cocaine use. It was everybody's cocaine use. I was not alone in that one. On a personal level, I'm, I'm blessed to be sitting here anyhow when I think of the, the horror story that ensued with my lifestyle. There were a lot of hurtful things that happened from everyone. And uh, it was always about trying not to feel those things. And, you know, over a period of time, it, you, you, you push it back and push it back, and it, it has to come out at some point. Everything is on a, a, a new kind of a beginning thing, you know, where we've kind of said our I'm sorry and everything, and everything is good now. <laughs> Band members swear this reunion happened for the music, not for the money. Spurred on by a Buckingham Knicks collaboration on the Twister soundtrack, and by Mick Fleetwood's drumming on Buckingham's solo record. Clearly, this was a far happier event than their one-off get-together for the 1992 Clinton inaugural. We did that because the President of the United States asked us to do that. You know, that's probably the only man in the whole world it could have gotten us to do this. And I'd see it called and say, we have to do this in the scheme of our lives. This is important. Hi, good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Welcome to our little soiree. How relaxed were you when you were up on stage? You looked very calm. Oh, <laughs> you should have seen it from my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I was actually extremely nervous. Well, I've got to tell you, I was a massive nerve. Very nervous. Their music has motivated a new generation of musicians as well. What's it meant to you to have some of your songs covered by people like Hole and Smashing Pumpkins? How has that been? I look at it as an incredible honor because they, Billy and Courtney, sort of personally um, have introduced me back to another generation of music that, you know, that I'm really not very involved in. It's interesting that time goes by and that someone of the caliber of, of Billy Corgan, I mean, he has a lot going on and uh, that he would suddenly be declaring, you know, Fleetwood Mac is, is not the enemy anymore. Fleetwood Mac's The Dance will premiere here on MTV Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Don't go away because there's lots more in store on The Week in Rock. I can still hear you say, never break the shade in Fleetwood Mac, reunited for their first public performance in 15 years. Experience the music of one of the most influential bands of the rock era. Tuesday night at 10, at the 10th spot on MTV. Guess who's topping the Billboard album chart on Monday? It's Fleetwood Mac with the band's comeback greatest hits concert album, The Dance, taken from its recent MTV reunion concert. And the group starts a comeback tour on September 17th in Hartford, Connecticut, so who knows, maybe this regroup has a future. Here's Stevie Nicks talking with Chris Connolly. How much creative life do you think this incarnation of the band has? Or don't you know yet? How much? I don't know yet. It's really 